Welcome to another episode of United for a Healthy Stoughton. My name is Stephanie Patton and I am the Prevention Coordinator for the Town of Stoughton. And today I have a special guest here with me, Teresa Tapper, to talk about uh, our project called Table Talks. So Teresa, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Teresa Tapper. Um, yes, I work for the Town of Stoughton at the Stoughton Youth Commission. Um, I'm a mental health counselor. And just to let you know, we do offer free counseling for youth and families in Stoughton. It's kind of a well-kept secret, um, a great resource to, for the town. So that's really the role that I'm in. I also am a town resident, so if, if you happen to see me doing other things, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thank you. Thank you so much, and thanks for being here. And so Teresa and I are gonna talk today a little bit about a really fun project that we have been working on um, probably since January, maybe mm. before that. Um, in collaboration with a number of other departments, and we refer to this project as Table Talks. So I'm going to ask Teresa to sort of share with us where this Table Talks project came from way back, maybe even last year. Yeah. So what happened was we um, found out about an opportunity to get some grant, like a special grant, um, wrote for it, got it. We're, we were one of the six communities. Um, in Massachusetts that were chosen, which is really great. And what it, what it offered was like a six month training session and really helping us to figure out like how do we respond to trauma and how are we helpful to families and, and youth. That's, that was our primary thing. So in order to do that, we had decided that we would collaborate with other people from different town departments, which included the library, the school, our school nurse, um, let's see, the um, police department, rec center, yep. um, the youth commission, of course, um, prevention services. So there were representatives from each of the departments. And we called ourselves the STAT team, which was the Stoughton Trauma Advisory Team. Um, so we, we just got really lucky. and. Uh, fortunate and we met um, as a group uh, ahead of time to kind of figure out what is it that we really want to work on which was um, you know what do we want to do to kind of promote resiliency and working with um, youth and make them feel like a sense of belonging and bonding to the community which we know is like making Stoughton healthy and families healthy and youth healthy. Great. I think that was a great, yeah, no, I think that was a great start. Um, and I think um, we want to give credit to the Center for Child Trauma and Wellbeing. Um, mm -hmm. That was the funding source for this. Re mm -hmm. They are related to University of Massachusetts Medical Center. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, as a group, we got to go through a number of virtual trainings together and spend some time thinking about really what kinds of things were we already doing as a community. I think collectively, mm -hmm. one thing we learned is a lot, and we knew this going in, of course, that a lot of our departments already are doing a lot of really great work around mm -hmm. bonding and con being connected to the community and resiliency, but really thinking about was there some overarching thing we could do collaboratively and think more intentionally about how we might work together. And it was a super short time frame, so really also thinking about something that we could do in a short amount of time that would have some impact and would have some staying power in the community, which was how we kind of came about thinking about Table Talks as a project, um, because I think we ha also had a lot of other great ideas that I, uh, I imagine and know will still come to fruition, but maybe didn't require some of the um, resources that we had immediately at our, at our, disposable, our disposal and um, that might take more time than um, Yeah, because there was a this. time frame we had. I mean, one thing that was really great about this too was that they were um, offering to give us some funding to help uh, promote a project in particular, but we had to spend the money and do it within a certain limited time frame, which was June, the end, yeah, of June. The end of June. We had to have it done. So, um, so there, so it was really great. We got some really good training and stuff about like really thinking about like what are some, some ideas that we can do? And we also met with other communities or you know, heard, heard what other communities were doing. So what's really exciting is that you know, we got a lot of other good ideas that may be able to be incorporated and rolled out in the future. So that was really cool. Yeah, 
And it's also one thing that was really exciting too is um, a number of us have also been collaborating around um, thinking about how to infuse what is referred to as the HOPE framework. So it's healthy outcomes from positive experiences and a lot of us have received training in that framework. Um, it's one that is um, also being endorsed by the folks who are funding this project. And what it is, is it's a base of research that helps um, communities and um, practitioners in the community think about a lot of families have struggled and have history with trauma. So um, we know that um, there's a large body of research about what happens when um, young children experience trauma early on in their life. And there's been a lot of research and a lot of media attention around uh, some of the fallout from that as kids become adults around uh, some chronic health issues and behaviors. And there's this incredible and newer body of research that also looks at what happens when kids have positive childhood experiences. So whether they have trauma or not, the research shows that those positive childhood experiences are very, very powerful in terms of shaping the trajectory, particularly around mental health um, mm -hmm. for young people. And what's really great about the positive childhood experiences is they're all things that everybody in the community can kind of take part in and, um, and they're, they're things that we can always do. So whether or not somebody's had trauma um, and they have that in their history and we can't really undo that, what we can do is we can think about how do we ensure that all kids have access to positive childhood experiences. And, um, and, the built, and they sort of, uh, the hope, the people at the HOPE um, framework at Tufts organize those into four building blocks to kind of try to make it easier and they are around making sure kids have um, access to positive relationships with adults, um, both in and out of the home, um, that they have healthy environments in which to play um, and learn and, you know, for adults work and worship. And um, so thinking about spaces in our community, the kids have access to um, the ability to build opportunities and to become engaged with organizations um, or the community as a whole. And so we can seek out opportunities to do that. And we also thought, you know, we could help provide and support parents um, to find those opportunities in the community that may already be available to them that they might not be aware of and mm -hmm. to practice some of the skills around these healthy engagements in a way that's fun um, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, a sense of bonding, a sense of, of um, belonging and stuff is so vitally important. And, and this also goes along with, you know, we want to continue to promote that Stoughton is a welcoming community and you know we're the those of us who work and live and play in the town you know we really believe in this um, so this was a really great opportunity for us to collaborate with each other and find out what e each other was doing and uh, working on you know one one particular project that we want to we now want to tell you about right and I think um, the, the other piece that's just fun about this is it is, it's very positive. Mm -hmm. um, it is um, something. Non-threatening. It's non-threatening. And we, we really were able to have some fun putting this together and we do feel like there's really great value. And so now mm -hmm. our job is to kind of get this out and get people excited mm -hmm. about getting involved in the project. So we're gonna talk a little bit about one of the um, resources we built and mm -hmm. and then we will also talk about how you can find these things, right? So you wanna share and show, yeah. do a little show and tell? So um, so the project is called Table Talks and what it is is we, this is like, a, we consider it like a family game. Mm -hmm. So um, it comes in a box um, and um, in the box, you open up the box and the idea is that family members put in their cell phones Mm -hmm. put it put away the box uh, close it but before they close it they take out the cards that are in the box um, one thing that was really cool about this is that um, and these are like just conversation um, really easy non-threatening uh, conversation cards and stuff and we'll demonstrate a little bit about that um, and the other thing that was really cool is that we were thinking about like really wanting to reach you know more than uh, just one segment of our population, but let's reach out to people who are, we have multiple languages that are spoken in Stoughton. Um, and so we chose the four top languages, which if you want to take a second to guess what they are. Right, English, <laughs> of course, mm -hmm. 
The next one, Portuguese. Yep. Spanish and Haitian Creole. These are the, t the four top languages currently spo spoken in. So what we did was we had all of the conversation cards and the, and the box has it translated in all four different languages. So yeah, we were very, it's really exciting to be able to do that piece of work because I think the translation work is really important to all of mm -hmm. us. And um, so we were really proud that the box, it's not a separate box by language. The cards aren't separated by language. Every card, when there's a question, and Teresa, we're going to share and play with the questions a little bit, you see the question in all four languages on the card, and you see the directions in all four languages on every box. And so also for families that are multilingual, you can have some fun with that. For families where um, maybe English is your primary language, it might be fun to sort of see how you might say some of these things in other yeah. languages, which is really neat too, because I imagine mm -hmm. that a lot, well, we know a lot of our um, mm -hmm. students are learning alongside their peers who speak other languages. And, um, and so it's kind of fun also to have some additional exposure to those languages and those cultures. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is that we have two sides to the cards. One side is specifically for all ages, but really like younger children, um, tailored around younger children. And the other side of the card is um, teen specifically for teenagers. But again, they're like, you know, really non-threatening. I'm going to demonstrate one. Mm -hmm. um, What's something that you like about yourself, Stephanie? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> something that I like about myself. Um, I, oh, um, I like my ability to be able to do a lot of um, physically challenging things. Like I like to do obstacle courses. That's a little known thing about me. Um, and I um, always appreciate and think about how how lucky I am to have the ability to do that and to maintain the ability to do that. Awesome. So I'm going to ask you, what is your favorite place to go in town? Hmm. And why? So maybe while people at home are thinking about that, Teresa, what is your favorite place to go in town and why? <laughs> well, I mean, the first thing I have to say that came in mind was Town Spa, but mm -hmm. you know, one of the favorite places to eat. Um, but I actually really love the Halloran Park, mm. um, which I think is like an awesome place. Um, you know, open space, walk around, um, very well kept up and stuff and, you know, and for all ages and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, lo I really love the Halloran. Yeah, and you never know what you might find over there. I was over at a meeting this morning in the superintendent's mm -hmm. office and when I came out there was, um, the Recreation Department and the Council on Aging were co-hosting an event with miniature ponies, uh, therapy oh, ponies. Right. I had her so right. if you happen to have been in the park the morning that we are filming mm -hmm. this, um, you might have had the opportunity to go pet a miniature pony, which is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. And you know, Halloran also has a lot of community events and stuff, and which is that's another thing is that you know we have done a couple rollouts already um, at community events. One, one that will be coming up is Stoughton Day. Mm -hmm. And so we try to be at the different community events. And what's really great about this is that this, as long as supply until supplies are, are gone, gone. <laughs> um, but we have lots of them right now, this is free. Mm -hmm. So it's for free. And it really is, you know, I say it's for all ages. So it's really great to have that. Um, and we've already um, passed, it, passed it out at different, you know, the on Pride Day, um, Juneteenth, which um, was also another exciting day that we pass it out. Yep. Yeah. And I think um, you know, even though we this this project was designed with families and um, younger kids and teenagers in mind, mm -hmm. I know that um, sometimes adults are all also looking for fun conversation starters, and so there's mm -hmm. really. As you just saw us do, there's kind of no reason why you couldn't take the cards and um, mm -hmm. ask them to somebody mm -hmm. else um, in your life that maybe is an adult. And we certainly, mm -hmm. um, when we talk to families about the cards, we want to encourage that both the kids and the adults answer the question and that mm -hmm. people get curious and that it might um, spawn some other questions. So even the question around what's your favorite place, you might think about, oh, well, you named a restaurant as your favorite place. What's your mm -hmm. favorite place to go and take a walk in Stoughton? What's your favorite place to go in the winter? What's your favorite place to go when the weather is warm? Um, and 
I think all of the questions have that um, easy ability to, to sort of generate and spark curiosity. And certainly um, the idea is to just practice and um, have some fun and get comfortable mm -hmm. and take a moment to intentionally kind of put away some of our other easy distractions like mm -hmm. cell phones and tablets and things that um, are often calling to us um, and, right. and sort of be intentional to have some fun family time. And speaking of favorite places, one of the, the other things that we're doing is um, we were very fortunate. We had an intern who, um, she's going for her bachelor's right now, um, Samara, I can't think of her last name though. Samara, anyway, sorry about that, um, who volunteered um, during the summer to start going to the restaurants in Stoughton and seeing if, if we could like have a couple of these available to pass around. Um, she's gotten some really good response. It's just beginning. So if you are a restaurant owner and you're hearing this and you want to help promote this, um, we are happy to bring this to you. Um, you can have it on your tables, whatever. Um, just let, let, you know, pass it on to customers and we will replenish it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a very cool thing too. Yeah, it's another fun place to, mm -hmm. where the conversation cards can be really mm -hmm. helpful maybe while you're waiting for your meal to come and, mm -hmm. um, and that's a time that you're maybe mm -hmm. out with your family and, mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, the idea is for these to sort of build some more, po help continue to build more positive experiences with families. Mm -hmm. The other part to this project that we are working on mm -hmm. is um, so the boxes are sort of the physical piece to this that we want to be able to hand out to folks. Um, and we are working on an electronic newsletter that will have more of the kind of information that you heard us sort of talking about earlier. So um, references, um, links to community events that are coming up in a particular month. Um, we were excited about the idea that oftentimes these conversations might be happening around a dinner table or a place where people are mm -hmm. sharing food. And so we also want to be able to share some healthy recipes, recipes that um, maybe have cultural importance to um, mm -hmm. various families who live in Stoughton. And so being able to share those kinds of things um, as another way for families to maybe make something together and then sit down and have a fun conversation and to think about some other spin-off events sort of under the Table Talks mm -hmm. banner um, mm -hmm. it, that we might that we will be offering as a community, and so we want to also encourage people that um, we want you to get on our mailing list, and we can share now um, the QR code that you can scan and um, hold your phone up to your screen, I guess, and um, get that information so that you can get on our mailing list. So as we start rolling out those newsletters, you'll have access to that information. They'll have updated new fun questions that might maybe things that are seasonal or relevant to the time of year um, so that, you know, if you are excited by the idea of having some fun questions that maybe somebody else came up with that you won't, uh, when you run out of cards because they're so fun and you are burning mm -hmm. through them really fast that you mm -hmm. will have some additional things in those newsletters to mm -hmm. also look forward to. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk a little bit out about where people can find the box. So Teresa mm -hmm. talked about some community events that happened and mm -hmm. that um, mm -hmm. are coming up in the future. Stoughton Day is mm -hmm. one um, that's coming up at the end of September. Mm -hmm. um, there is a family fun day and a mm -hmm. fun um, a 5K that's happening also at mm -hmm. Halloran Park in October mm -hmm. that's being sponsored by um, Be Inspired Together locally. So those are two places where um, you will know that you can find us and come talk to us and we will have loads of these boxes and conversation cards. Mm -hmm. um, where are some of we the also, other places in the we community? We also met with a pediatrician. Who, we did, yep. yep who is, um, who ha has that available as well. So, yep. so again, if you are, the other thing is I'd really love to hear um, from people if who already have this because we have been passing this around passing this out. Mm -hmm. So if we hear from you and you have some other ideas um, about or other good questions that you think that we should um, add in the future or uh, share, that'd be great. But just even give us some feedback. I think that would be also great. Yeah. Yep. The library, the Stoughton Public Library, the library has, has lots it. of boxes. Mm -hmm. um, the Youth Commission the has. The Youth Commission mm -hmm. has boxes. Mm -hmm. I have a box of boxes going them. to the Stoughton YMCA today. Awesome. Um, and so any place that um, is interested and you can reach out to us, we are happy to share this resource. We really mm -hmm. want them in the hands of families. Um, mm -hmm. 
and we're pretty excited. We think they're really fun, and um, and and it's a really positive way to get connected. So for families who are feeling like I'm not sure what there is to do with my kids, that's sort of partly the function of the newsletter is to make sure you're connected to all of the really wonderful things mm -hmm. that are happening here already in town. Mm -hmm. um, all of the programs, all of the community events, there's lots of stuff that happens in Stoughton. I think sometimes um, people aren't sure where to look, but uh, there are plenty of really exciting things that, that go on all mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. that are great opportunities for people to build Mem really positive memories with their family and friends mm -hmm. and community members. Yeah. And Stoughton Cares. And Stoughton Cares, right. And so before we end this, I want to know, like, if you were a vegetable or plant, <laughs> what would you be and why? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> if I was a vegetable or a plant, um, oh, I... I don't know the answer to that question. I know what I would okay, be. Good. I want to be an eggplant because my favorite color is purple. Uh, I was thinking about eggplants, but I was just I, thinking I like I like to eat eggplant, it. which wasn't a good reason to be an eggplant. I know, eggplant. exactly. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. But, you know, I really like it because it's purple. And that's my favorite color. Oh, there so. you go. And, yeah, usually they come in really beautiful shades of purple. That's right. Eggplants. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so we want to make sure we leave folks with, again, um, the information about where to find the materials. Mm -hmm. Um, and the best way to do that really, um, in addition to some of the places and events that we had named, is to get on our mailing list. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll put up that QR code one more time for folks um, to be able to find us. You can also visit the Oasis website and there is um, under, I think it's under the tab of About Us, there's a drop down page that says Table Talks and so you'll be able to find information there about how to get on the list but also that will be the place where we will start archiving ultimately all of the newsletters and um, so as there are more materials produced those things will start to live in in that location as well so if you're looking for an old newsletter and because it had a recipe or something exciting you wanted to look back on um, you can find those at www.stotonoasis org um, and so that will be a good spot for folks to find things are there any other uh, things Teresa that we forgot to say that we want to make sure everybody knows I think that pretty much covers it for now um, but you know look for us and uh, reach out to us anytime and you know I, I like I said I work in the town but I also live in the town and I'm very proud to be a part of it uh, and it's really nice to know that you know the town really does care and all the different sectors of the town, like we're working together um, and collaborating with other organizations too. And this is a way to bring us all together. Um, Stoughton's a welcoming community. Awesome, thank you so much. Please come and visit us at one of those outreach events. Come to one of our offices, mm -hmm. pick up a Table Talks box. We'd be happy to talk to you about it. Um, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.